Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, we are going to see the design and simulation of a non-inverting summer in MATLAB. So let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of a non-inverting summer. So the inputs V1 and V2 is supplied to the non-inverting terminal of an operational amplifier. So why is it named as non-inverting summer? It is very simple. Uh, whenever input V1 is V2 is supplied, the output waveform will not be inverted. There is zero degree phase shift with respect to the input terminal. Hence it is called as non-inverting. The reason why it is called a summer, it basically adds the two input signals V1 and V2 and produces an output. Provided R values, are, all of them are same. In case they're different, however, there is a different formula we have to solve and substitute them. Just for simplicity, we have assumed all the values of R to be equal to the same so that we will be getting V out is equal to V1 plus V2. So how does the input signal looks like? So we are uh, supplying a sinusoidal signal with a voltage of 4 volt. Consequently, V2 is 2 volt and uh, V out is equal to the sum of the input values that is V1 plus V2. You will be getting 6 volt at the output. So once the basic understanding of how the waveform looks like and what non-inverting summer does, we will be getting into our design uh, procedure but uh, one of the most important uh, points to remember is non-inverting summer is also referred to as summer or adder circuit with respect to operational amplifiers so once all of these are done we will get into our design so every design will start off with a requirement or uh, an assumption so in this uh, particular design we will be assuming v1 and v2 to be equal to 4 volt and 2 volt respectively we will be choosing all the values of r to be same so say equal to 5 kilo ohm however you can try it for different values as well you will be getting the same output with respect to uh, the output signal that you are uh, supposed to get so v out is nothing but the sum of input voltages v1 and v2 according to the definition of an inverting sum non-inverting summer isn't it so that is equal to 6 volt in case of an inverting summer you will have a negative sign minus of v1 plus v2 because it has produced 180 degree phase shift with respect to the input terminals that is the only difference so once the uh, uh, expression with respect to the design and uh, the waveforms analysis is clear we will get into the simulation por portion in MATLAB so let's get started let's go to MATLAB all right here we are so uh, over here uh, there is something called simulink library browser uh, uh, one of the greatest features with respect to this browser is that we will be able to search the components that are required for a particular circuit so in this case uh, we will be searching uh, one by one we will be requiring an ac voltage source rather than going into that particular block uh, using this it's better to search here directly so we will be choosing the ones that are there in blue uh, very simple logic because the ones that are there in black is used for power electronic applications this is used for signals and systems and digital signal processing applications so in case you use this you will never get the output so be very careful uh, with respect to this so ac voltage source is used we will be adding that block once that is done we will be requiring an voltage sensor so search for voltage sensor and uh, you will be getting it right over here so uh, this is used to uh, sense the amount of voltage that is there and uh, in the particular circuit and once this is done we will be requiring a ground as well so it's also referred to as electrical reference so search for it over here you will be getting the ones that are there in blue uh, we will be requiring a solver configuration block one of the most important blocks for the simulation take place it will enter the solver parameters uh, that are there in the circuit uh, in the back end when the simulation is taking place in runtime and you will be getting uh, the output based on it if this block is not used you will never get the output and uh, it will be throwing you an error that solver configuration block is not used or something something like that so we need a simulink converter uh, so this is the simulink converter the reason why we need this is uh, pretty simple uh, in case of sensors like voltage sensors that we are using or uh, you are using a temperature sensor a pressure sensor all these sensors are associated with physical quantities they are associated in real world isn't it so we need to convert them in a format that is suitable for the MATLAB to accept it so that is the reason why we will be using simulink converter once this is done uh, we will be requiring a resistor so search for resistor sister you will be getting it uh, right at the bottom over here uh, so add this block as well once all of these blocks are added we will be requiring uh, operational amplifier which is basically heart of our circuit so add this block as well so once all of these are added we will be placing them in appropriate position so that we can get started with the circuit connections so uh, we will be placing the resistor in this particular place this is the simulink converter and uh, solver configuration block electrical reference sensor is placed at this position 
and we'll be using an AC voltage source. So some of the most important things to remember once we have all of them is uh, if you see the uh, and observe this op-amp over here it is plus and minus so we need to change this first isn't it so right click on it and uh, you will be getting rotate and flip option in that go to flip block and go to up down so now it will be minus and plus just for the sake of convenience we can carefully observe how the waveform looks like um, and we don't have to change the circuit according to the symbols that's the reason why it's being done so we would be requiring uh, two supplies isn't it so copy paste them control c control v we'll be requiring two two more resistors over here and uh, we would also be requiring one in the feedback path so control c control v you'll be getting that so uh, we'll be placing this slightly down so that uh, we'll be able to connect them in a proper way uh, so resistor is connected in this particular fashion uh, so both of these are connected to this particular point and once this is done we will be copy pasting the electrical uh, reference for uh, these two uh, positions as well so scroll it a little down because we need to con connect the voltage sensor as well so that's the reason why we will be doing it so uh, a resistor is used in the feedback path and it is connected in the uh, in this particular fashion once all of these are done now we will be connecting the voltage sensors uh, appropriate positions that is across the supply terminals over here and uh, we will be copy pasting another voltage sensor to measure it at this particular point as well with respect to the second supply v2 and uh, we will be uh, requiring another simulink converter so copy paste this as well another voltage sensor is required at the output terminal so connect this copy paste this and then connect it at the output terminal with respect to positive and negative negative is usually connected to the ground and we will be requiring another simulink converter so copy paste this again uh, you will be uh, having three simulink converters because we're using three voltage sensors in this case and uh, once all of these are done uh, we will be uh, requiring a scope as well uh, to see how the waveform looks like so search for scope and you will be uh, getting it right at the top over here this is used to see how the waveform looks like uh, with respect to simulink so we will be connecting the voltage sensor at this particular point this is with respect to v1 so we will be connecting it uh, with respect to scope over here similarly we will be connecting the voltage sensor uh, for the second voltage source that is v2 and we'll be seeing the waveform in the scope again the output voltage will be connected uh, to this point and we'll be seeing the waveforms in the scope so once all of these are done we will be connecting uh, the solver configuration block to uh, a portion of a circuit uh, let it be ground or any other portion but we have to connect it and, uh, and such that it touches us now we'll be entering all the values with respect to the resistors and the supply voltages so the resistor chosen to be equal to 5 kilo ohm so use the drop down set the value of 5 kilo ohm uh, with respect to each and every resistor so we'll be entering 5 here drop down is used or you can do 5 into 10 power minus 3 directly over here and keep it in ohms as well so either ways it's possible to be uh, it's possible to add the values so we will be entering 5 here and choose the value of kilo ohms the supply voltage in this case is equal to 4 volt and the frequency that we are choosing is 1000 hertz you can try it for different frequencies as well depending upon the type of applications that you are trying to simulate this for so 1000 hertz is the frequency 2 volts is the supply voltage here so once all of these are done uh, one of the most important mistakes that students offer do is uh, here we have to change the simulation time in milliseconds very very careful uh, with respect to this because if you are giving it in seconds the waveform that you will get will be not exactly exactly the one that you actually want so be very careful with respect to this step so set the simulation time and run it it will take some time to compile it and we can see the output by double clicking on the scope so we will be double clicking over here and if you carefully observe uh, this is v1 4 volt this is v2 and this is the output voltage which is 6 volt and uh, they are in phase with respect to each other the output waveform with respect to the supply terminals so this is exactly what we wanted and we are getting the exact results so uh, this is how we'll be simulating a non-inverting summer in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you